Hi everybody! Welcome to another endgame study from the Chess.com Tactics Trainer. It is white to move in this position, and as always, pause your video, try to find the solution, and then when you're done, unpause it and we will work it out together. Although I think I already, I think I already know the answer. It's another kind of geometrically cool puzzle where oh, I'm going to show the answer now. So if you're still thinking, be sure to pause it. Basically, we go rook e6, clearing room for the queen, and then oh, we don't go queen b5 because of king c7, but we go queen a6. If the king comes back here or here, queen a7 wins the queen on g7. The only other move for the queen king is d5, at which point we go queen c4. If king e5, we immediately win the queen. And if king d6, queen c5, king d7, queen a7, and we win the queen that way. So a pretty simple one. I mean, simple in the sense that it's once you see this move, the rest is easy. Uh, and if you're skilled at endgame studies, this move should come pretty naturally. If you haven't done too many, of course, it's going to be quite hard. You have to calculate four or five moves deep and you're giving up a rook. But it's nice to get used to the ge geometry of the chessboard and the pieces. So thanks everyone for watching this video, and I will see you tomorrow with another endgame study. Bye-bye.